We'll take a question from Elizabeth Howell with space.com. The time this question is for Andreas. Do you have any tips for other astronauts for taking pictures of the auroras from the space station? And also, um, what are you most looking forward to in terms of imagery? Uh, in terms of advice, practice, 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 <laughs> because it it uh, it is tricky to get good photos. Uh, but luckily, you know we have uh, half a year uh, to to get good at it. Uh, on my first mission, I had ten days, uh, so it was a little bit tricky to to take a lot of good photos. Um, but I'm hoping this time, with six months, uh, I'll have more. Uh, more time to spend out in the cupola and to, to get much better. Um, and I'm, I'm looking so much forward to getting back to the space station. It really is an incredible place. Um, and just living and working up there uh, with my colleagues uh, is such a fantastic opportunity. And of course, I'm also looking forward to, to getting to do a lot of things I didn't get to do on my first trip uh, because it was a, a shorter trip. Uh, I didn't get to see a, a lot of things on the Earth. I never saw the Himalaya Mountains. Um, you know, I never saw uh, what's called the Richat structure in the Saharan Desert. I never saw a lot of the other craters that you can see on, on Earth uh, from space. And so I'm looking forward to seeing that and hopefully taking some good pictures. And then I have a, a personal project uh, where I'd like to, to take try to recapture some of these blue jets again and uh, also photograph a, a few other places, some, some uh, wild nature areas that are left on Earth.